Hi guys, that's I'm back with Expanse Season 2, Episode 3 called Static. Last episode was really intense. We had this big fight sequence, and I was drawn in from like start to end of the episode. I was on the edge of my seat for the fight. And as a bunch of you mentioned, it was a really realistic fight, or as realistic as it can be for a sci-fi show like this, and I just thought it was really well done. So I'm also pointing out something really interesting about Julie Mao's middle name being Andromeda, which is, it is a galaxy, but it's also in... Uh, Greek mythology and I, I love Greek mythology and there's a lot of mention in it in the show but yeah, Andromeda was basically uh, sacrificed because of um, her parents actions that angered Poseidon and I just think that's so interesting because her dad did say that she was a great sacrifice to this bigger picture so I like that connection it was really subtle detail but uh, so thank you to whoever pointed that out and also we ended the episode with this Phoebe scientist explaining um, what this other life form is and how important his work is and he didn't really care who he was working for but as long as he could keep doing his work um, he explained that you know Eros is just like a blip in how many ever people they're gonna end up saving and compare what he was doing to Genghis Khan and a bunch of other things um, and it looked like Holden and John Fred Johnson were being roped in or I think they just wanted to make sure they weren't being rash and killing him when he could possibly be the only one to give them the information they need about what the work is. Uh, he said that everything would be erased if anyone else tried to access it. But Miller was not having any of it. He headshotted that scientist. Um, I wasn't too surprised by that. I feel like I didn't really trust the scientist in the first place. And I understand the scientist's motivation in the for the bigger picture and all that. It's something we've seen in our own history so many times. Um, this moral dilemma, like what's more important. But I also understand why Miller pulled the trigger. And I do feel like the scientist could have possibly just led everyone down to a darker path. I don't know what, I don't think he was too trustworthy. So, and I think Miller could see that um, the scientist was drawing in uh, Johnson and Holden. So I'm not too upset with Miller about that at all. I totally understand it. Um, but I do wonder what they lost in the process if the scientist was telling the truth and they lost a bunch of information. But we shall see what happens. Um, also, a lot of you mentioned that episode four and five need to be watched back to back. And I will be doing that. Um, this episode is a bit later than usual because um, not only do my work hours change a bit every week to, um, so that affects when I can upload things, but I'll try to be more and more consistent. It is the holidays, so I have a lot of stuff planned and going on and all that with my own personal life. But I will definitely keep going with the show and I am really uh, interested by the storyline. The season is really strong so far and I've only seen two episodes of it, so I have like high hopes. Anyways, let's get started with this episode. Disrespecting a fellow Martian. He's got as much dust in his blood as the rest of us. Nice. Marines, who do we fight for? Mars! Who do we fight for? Mars! Nice. Suit up. We need to train. War is coming. Damn. She intends. I love her. <laughs> Mars still hasn't issued an official statement. You haven't retaliated yet either. We named our planets after the ancient gods. The yeah, but this was like Christian's idea, right? That's what... I mean, they targeted something that wasn't too risky to start a full-on war right away, but something small enough to show a display of power. Can you imagine what it would be like to lose the moon? Our moon. To never see it in the night sky again. It's not the same. That would suck. Did you know that Martian Marines always train at 1G Earth gravity? <laughs> They fly at the speed of war. I would be kind of intimidated by Mars. They have so much tech. But if they do, a few strategic bomb drops. That's so cool. Most this could be our last chance to win, Christian. It's like you always said. Earth must come first. I thought this shit going on though, right? Like, 
I want to be focusing on this alien life form. <laughs> but this war is distracting everyone from that. Gotta take one a couple of band-aids to get the Rossi back on her feet again, you know? The yeah. Rossi's the least of our goddamn problems now. Leave him here. Hi! I don't want him anywhere near the prisoners! He won't be! And get these people to screaming. <laughs> Come on! on. Jeez, you shouldn't even be on this station! Oh, hey, hey. Come on, calm down. Get off your chest, sir. Get him, Ryan! Oh. Wow, Holden, that was a lot of anger. Pick one, and I'll get you on it. It's time for you to go. Can I have my gun back? Did you ask him why he did what he did? I mean, I guess in their views, he's like ruined their one chance to get some real answers. Which, yeah, I guess. But I still trust Miller over that scientist guy. How is he gonna redeem himself to hold him though? I care about that friendship a lot, okay? <laughs> Amos, can you understand? Captain has clean out your quarters. So I'm dipped in shit right now. Oh no. This shit is permanent. No, Captain I want to doesn't want friend. you around anymore. For what it's worth, I get it. He killed your girl and you shot him. I don't think it's as simple as that. But the captain, well, he's as close to righteous as it gets out here. So when he says you're out, that's just how it is. Because the way I figure, he's probably right. Sure as hell has a better chance of being right than I do. Huh, I like Amos talking about this, like. Just giving it to him straight, you know, I like, that's what I like about Amos, he never like really you keep picking fights lies. with the wrong people. The necklace? Okay, there it is. We nearly died. Miller just... He got you out of Eris alive. He shot an unarmed man right in the head. An unarmed messenger. Yeah, like, I wouldn't be too that angry at him. Eris is so fucked for them. You can't understand. The only thing he was out for was revenge. No, he cared about all of us. We had Dresden. He was going to talk. Listen we could have used him. what? Worked out a deal. With a man who casually murdered countless belters. A man who was a threat to all human life. And that is why Miller shot him. He didn't he have the right him. to make that decision. But you do. No one's the smartest character. <laughs> I was, you guys have said as much in the comments and I totally agree. She, she understands everybody and what motivates them. Amos, Miller, Holden, like, she just observes, understands, tries to make everything better, but, you know, Holden doesn't really listen to anyone right now, but he has his mindset. Hey, hey you killed the biggest dick in the universe for that now. I'll make a big party for you. Next. You're a hero, man. <sighs> That's my tip. Time to go home. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. Where's the house? Oh, smooth talker. Patrick, I like you. Nice. You I like your know what to do. Sure. Ah, come, come. You stay with nice. me. Nice. You want a bus now? Seems like a good kid. You know, survives the craziest shit. Um, still so energetic and happy and nice. <laughs> oh, that one just missed puncturing your reactor. See? You guys would have melted instantly. Ah, you lucky as well. One almost punctured me. Wow. If that had gone through to the inner hull, your girl would have snapped in two. Most ships would have been blown to scrap it after seems that like kind of beating. Yeah, well, not the Rossi. Kind of They think I'm dead. I went down on the Dominager. Died a hero. In the meantime, you look like you could blow off some steam. I see you from some rock. <laughs> Care to put the ball to the wall? What? Passion, yeah. Cashing. Station was like a garrison then. What game? I Can I play? He was in the data center, so we're going to interrogate him first. Huh, I wonder how yes, he survived. Miller. Not more than Dresden. I don't like that they just kicked him we out. Had ID scan, including the one destroyed on Phoebe. Uh -uh. Get in there. Damn. This should be an interesting conversation. Uh huh. Oh, that guy looks evil. Your family just bought your way into the core. That's enough. Settle down. 
Come Go on, y'all gotta work together here. Sounds important. It is. Are you taking up the project? We need you to make a vaccine. Oh. I feel like they seem pretty. Why would I want to do that? Brainwashed. I can't imagine, but it must have been like watching your mother die. Type Does he even have emotions anymore? It's just so ungodly cruel. Even when the drool was hanging from her lip for hours on end until it crusted to her chin, or she fell off the toilet while taking a piss. She just kept going. Serene oh, as the God. Buddha. So, not a bad way to die, actually. That is freaky. Go back one minute. Run it again. to squash on her play this kind of thing before but it looks so Why are you fun. laughing at loser? <laughs> Come on. We should hydrate with some beers. Yes. This lady is so cool. I like her. You're telling me that those sounds are coming off the arrows? Yeah. The hottest beats maker on Tycho. That's why it's our anthem pumper. A call to war. Oh yeah. Way of shaving. War now. New Miller haircut. I guess that's really all he has to live for now. Now that everyone thinks he's dead. Part of his temporal lobe has been effectively erased. Which part? The part that governs empathy. Oh, oh. You can do that with a magnet? So if someone waves a magnet at the right side of my head and suddenly I can watch 100,000 people die in agony and not give a shit. Mm-hmm. Well, he's not a homicidal maniac. He just no longer has the capacity to consider any life other than his own meaningful. <laughs> wow. He says, well. condition reversible. I'm afraid not. He's gone. You reach I'm well aware of Private Travis's background and the shit that he gets for being born on Earth. And if he'd been willing to talk, you'd be thrown into the brig right now, but he wasn't. That's how Martian he is. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to treat him like that. Current appearances to the contrary. Now it's here, and we just want to use it. The sooner we have it out with Earth, the better. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. We're not going to Earth. Hmm. We've been ordered to Ganymede Station to secure the food supply. Farm Patrol. Now you and your team will carry out your orders with pride and dedication. They focus on her so much, I'm wondering if she's going to just take his, her team and go after Earth. Yes, sir. Or start a whole thing to get this war going already, because she seems super restless. A secure channel to Fred Johnson. Mm hmm. Give it to me, please. <laughs> so eager, Christian. If you have any cards left in your hand, the time to play them. <laughs> cool. Think this is for real? Yes. I mean, I have no reason to trust her, but yes. her, her. They gotta know what she's risking. I, think I got something she can use. If they learn that you're helping her, the OPA will put a hit out on you. Oh. Well, then I guess it's gonna have to be our little secret then, huh? You gotta trust her completely. He's risking himself too, as Christian is risking herself. Wow. In the hotel room where we found her. What is he doing? It was a wreck. Neck and his knee. Beautiful. Wow. Beautifully dead. Not dead. Becoming. The barnacles. Unexpected. 
expression of pattern matching systems. Pattern matching. Lattices that mimic beta sheets Mimicking. and expand on them. That requires and provides a massive amount of energy. That's why she smashed the lights in the screen. He's actually getting some answers. Amos is so smart. Source. Did it work? Wait. Don't go. Amos. Please! Tell me! What was it doing? Outside says we know where we're going. Mormons again? Maybe I know where I need to go now too. Have you ever talked to a pedophile? Uh -oh. We try to ask them stuff, and they're not gonna just talk about raping little kids. But if you show them pictures of kids, then they'll go on and on and on. I had a private chat okay. with Cortazar. The protomolecule she was frozen around the reactor core, starving. Did you turn the power back on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does something different every time? The more biomass you feed it, the faster it learns, the more it changes. So you fed it, Eros. Wow. When you're going 100 plus years on only the air that you bring in with you, loss tolerances are stricter than normal. Huh, Our that's true. contractors were sometimes less than cooperative. We can offer you salvation. Why is that? Interesting, Miller. Uh, I'm intrigued by where the story's taking him. Not people. Oh. Pulses. Steady like a clock. Communicating? No. No. Speeding up. No. Counting down. To what? Building. <laughs> Building what? We're going to find out. He's excited, they're all terrified. I'd be terrified. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What? Alex, 25 people on that pod we lost. My job to protect them. Mm. You saved Amos, and we lost 25 people because I made that choice. There's no point. Point is, next time I'm going to save them all. Run it again, right from the top. Wow. Day together. Nice. I want Miller and I too. Something real bad is going on down there. Yeah, we know. And you know we have to destroy it. I think you're right. Nice. I know. You know, Dresden was gonna get away with it. I killed him because he was making sense. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm glad Miller is joining. Any idea that how to take out a whole asteroid? Yeah. With that. Huh. Wow. Yes! Each episode. Okay, well, you know, I'm actually happy I'll be watching two back-to-back -back next time. I think after Christmas I will start doing, like, two episodes a week just because I'll have more time on my hands. I'll be post-holiday depressed and will need more entertainment. I might pick up another show. I don't know, but I just, I definitely know I just want to get more content out there for you guys. Y'all have been amazing. And I really hope y'all are going to have a great holiday and despite everything going on in the world, and experiencing this show and other shows with all of you, it's been great. So, anyways, now getting back to the show. I love that Christian has now interacted with Fred Johnson. He sent her some details about the stealth ship. She's like, what the fuck is this? Uh, she'll figure it out. Miller is like, we need to take out Eros. I think Holden is also getting that sense because something is going on in Eros. Something is building there. So, either you can be like the scientist and figure out what exactly it is, or you can just take it out completely and hopefully stop it from spreading. I mean, it's definitely a big plot point and I don't think it'll be easy to solve it all. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy Fred is actually listening to Miller, not just brushing him off like Holden. And that kind of disappointed me because I, I really liked their teamwork and some friendship building between them. Uh, hopefully Miller can get on Holden's good side again and Holden can understand his motivation. He explained it to Fred Johnson and I think Holden, if he actually listened, took the time to understand 
would understand it too. Nomi totally did. Um, so maybe they can get through to him soon. Anyways, I hope you liked my reaction to this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.